In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android Studio in Ubuntu. This is my Sangli, and thanks for tuning in. Android Studio in Ubuntu. For this, if you want to download Android Studio, you need to open developer.android.com. In browser, I'm going to open developer. And then select get Android Studio and download Android Studio for Linux. Accept the license term, download Android Studio for Linux. And it is a zip file. And for this video, I already downloaded this zip file and it is available in my download folder. So I'm going to click on cancel. Close the browser. And then I'm going to open files, then downloads, and inside this, this is my Android Studio IDE setup zip file. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to select extract here. This is the extraction process. Our files are extracted, so let's see what is inside this. Inside this we have Android Studio, so I'm going to quickly control X this folder. I want to call, cut this folder and then I'm going to paste this folder inside my download. If you want to save this folder in somewhere else, let's say documents, then you can feel free to select your own destination. For this video, I'm going to paste this in download folder and then I'm going to open terminal, control Alt T to launch terminal and inside this I'm going to say cd cd downloads and then we need to say android studio and if you are not sure about the name then type ls and it's android hyphen studio so I'm going to say android hyphen studio Inside this, we need to open bin folder. So I'm going to type bin, then ls, and inside this, we are going to launch studio.sh. For this, I'm going to type comma forward slash studio.sh. Enter. Okay, complete installation. Yes, uh, right. This is the fresh installation for Ubuntu. I don't have any files, config files. So yes, do not import settings. Click on OK finding available SDK components click on next uh, select the type of installation whether you want standard or custom if you want to customize everything then select second option click on next the first option is the theme I'm going to select the default theme if you want to change it to dark select dark if you want to change JTK plus GTK plus then select the third option so let me select the first default option then I'm going to click on next. Okay, now we need to download the Android SDK and the download folder for Android SDK is this. For me, I am the only one who is going to use this Android SDK. So that's why this location is fine for me. If you want to change the Android SDK location, some common location, feel free to change the Android SDK location. And if you want to download Android virtual device, select this and then click on next. So around 1.71 GB is going to be downloaded and then all this file is going to be extracted and going to install in our SDK location. So I'm going to click on next and uh, for email address sending Android KVM Linux need to be installed. Okay, no problem. Click on finish and this is the download process. Click on show details page to check the details and now we need to wait for the installation to complete not installation first files are going to be downloaded and then installation of those files is going to be done
and finally all the components are downloaded successfully so I'm going to click on finish and I'm going to create or let me see whether I'm able to create a shortcut from here so let's say configure and create a desktop entry create the entry for all user click on ok and we need to provide our Ubuntu password and our desktop entry is created successfully so let me close this exit show application all and this is the icon or shortcut for Android Studio click on this to launch Android Studio once more in our next video we are going to learn about how to create a new Android Studio project how to create an Android virtual device for your testing some important reasons.